In 2014, a quiet mathematician walked onto the stage to receive the Fields Medal, the highest honor in mathematics. For 78 years, no woman had ever won it. That changed with Mariam Mirzakhani. But here's what makes her story even more incredible. Math wasn't even her first love. As a child, she dreamed of being a writer, crafting stories in her mind. Numbers, equations, they didn't interest her until one moment changed everything. That moment led her to rewrite the rules of geometry, tackling problems no one else could solve. And yet, despite her groundbreaking discoveries, the world would only have 40 years to witness her genius. This is the story of Mariam Mirzakhani, the woman who redefined the infinite. Mariam Mirzakhani was born on May 12, 1977, in Tehran, Iran, at a time when her country was undergoing immense political and social change. She grew up during the aftermath of the Iranian Revolution and the Iran-Iraq War, a period that posed significant challenges for education, especially for young girls. Yet from an early age, Mariam showed an insatiable curiosity, but not for mathematics. Unlike the usual stories of child prodigies solving equations before they could talk, young Mariam was a storyteller at heart. She would fill notebooks with elaborate tales, dreaming of becoming a writer. She loved books, not numbers. That all changed when she entered Farzanigan School, part of Iran's National Organization for Development of Exceptional Talents, No Debt. Here, she was introduced to a friend who shared a bold idea, trying out for Iran's mathematical Olympiad team. At first, Mariam wasn't convinced. Math wasn't her thing, or so she thought. But something about problem solving intrigued her. Unlike the rigid, formula-driven approach she had seen before, Olympiad math was about exploration, about creative thinking. It wasn't about memorization, it was about discovery. She dove into the world of mathematics like a writer exploring a new story. Numbers and theorems became characters, equations turned into intricate plots, and every problem was a mystery waiting to be solved. By the age of 17, she had not only made Iran's mathematical Olympiad team, but had achieved a perfect score, winning back-to-back -back gold medals in 1994 and 1995. She became the first female Iranian student to ever achieve this. From a girl who once ignored math to a rising star in the world of mathematics, Mariam's story had just begun. For most students, mathematics was a subject to be endured, a series of formulas to memorize and apply. But for Mariam Mirzakhani, the International Mathematical Olympiad, IMO, was something entirely different. It was a playground for the mind. After deciding to try out for the Iranian national team, Mariam threw herself into preparation. The competition wasn't just about solving textbook problems, it was about deep, creative thinking. Olympiad problems were puzzles, mysteries waiting to be unlocked, each with multiple pathways to a solution. In 1994, she competed in her first IMO at just 17 years old and won gold. That was a remarkable achievement in itself, but Mariam didn't stop there. In 1995, she returned to the competition with even greater confidence and delivered a flawless performance, achieving a perfect score of 42 out of 42 and winning her second consecutive gold medal. This made her the first female student from Iran to achieve such a feat. Her performance not only established her as one of the brightest young minds in mathematics, but also shattered stereotypes about women in STEM. These victories were monumental, not just for Mariam, but for the academic community in Iran. Until then, Iran had never seen a female math prodigy rise to international recognition. She became a national inspiration, proving that genius had no gender. But these years, also opened a new door, one that would take her beyond the boundaries of Iran and into the world of higher mathematics, where she would push the limits of human knowledge. Winning 
two gold medals at the International Mathematical Olympiad was a major turning point in Mariam Mirzakhani's life. It wasn't just proof of her ability, it was a passport to the world's top universities. After completing her undergraduate studies at Sharif University of Technology, one of Iran's most prestigious institutions, she set her sights on the next challenge, graduate studies in the United States. In 1999, she was accepted into Harvard University's PhD program in mathematics, where she would work under the guidance of one of the most brilliant mathematicians of the time, Curtis McMullen, a Fields Medalist himself. Harvard was a completely different environment from what she had known. Here, mathematics wasn't just about solving equations, it was about exploring the very fabric of logic and space itself. It was the world of pure mathematics, where abstraction ruled and ideas were tested not in laboratories but in the realm of thought. While some mathematicians are drawn to numbers or applied problems, Mariam was captivated by geometry and topology, the study of shapes, surfaces and their deeper properties. She had an incredible ability to visualize complex mathematical structures in her mind, a skill that set her apart. One of the problems that fascinated her was the behavior of geodesics, the shortest possible paths on curved surfaces. Think of how an airplane travels between two continents, not in a straight line on a flat map, but along a curved path across the globe. Mariam wanted to understand how these paths behaved in hyperbolic spaces, mathematical landscapes far more intricate than the physical world. During her PhD, she made a groundbreaking discovery. She worked on moduli spaces of Riemann surfaces, a field that had puzzled mathematicians for decades. These spaces helped describe the possible shapes of multidimensional curved surfaces. Her research connected seemingly unrelated ideas from geometry, topology and dynamics, creating entirely new mathematical tools. Her PhD thesis was nothing short of revolutionary. It was so remarkable that it won Harvard's top dissertation award, a rare honor. Curtis McMullen, her advisor, later said that her work had changed the field forever. Her time at Princeton, where she later became a professor, solidified her place in the world of elite mathematicians. Her work wasn't just theoretical, it was reshaping modern geometry itself. What came next would make her a legend in mathematics. For years, the Fields Medal had been regarded as the highest honor in mathematics, the equivalent of a Nobel Prize in the field. Since its inception in 1936, it had been awarded only to men. No woman had ever claimed this prestigious prize. That changed in 2014 when Maria Mirzakhani made history. At the time, she was a professor at Stanford University, known for her groundbreaking work in geometry and dynamical systems. Her research had already transformed the way mathematicians understood Riemann surfaces, moduli spaces, and hyperbolic geometry. The announcement came at the International Congress of Mathematicians, ICM, in Seoul, South Korea. Mariam was awarded the medal alongside three other mathematicians, but her win stood out for a historic reason. She was the first woman, the first Iranian, and the first from the Middle East to receive the honor. When asked about the significance of this moment, Mariam remained humble. But for millions around the world, her win was more than just an academic achievement. It was a symbol of breaking barriers. The impact of her Fields Medal win was immediate. Women in STEM fields saw her as an inspiration. Young Iranian students, particularly girls, now had a role model who had shattered ceilings they once thought unbreakable. Even Iran, a country with complex social dynamics, celebrated her achievement with unprecedented pride. Her win wasn't just about personal success, it was about opening doors for those who would come after her. It was a historic moment, but her greatest legacy would be the ideas she left behind. Her personal life was just as meaningful she was married to Jan Vondrak, a Czech theoretical computer scientist, and together they had a daughter, Anahita. 
In 2013, Mariam was diagnosed with breast cancer. At first, she kept the news private, continuing to teach and research as she underwent treatment. But as the years passed, the disease spread, eventually reaching her bone marrow. On July 14th, 2017, at just 40 years old, Mariam Mirzakhani passed away. The mathematical community, and indeed the world, mourned her loss. For many, it was not just the passing of a brilliant mind, but of someone who had redefined what was possible for women in mathematics. Tributes poured in from across the globe. The president of Iran, Hassan Rouhani, made a rare public acknowledgement, calling her a genius and a source of pride for the nation. While her life was tragically short, her influence continues to grow. Mariam's Fields Medal shattered a barrier that had stood for over 80 years. Today, she is a role model for countless young women who aspire to careers in mathematics and science. In her memory, Stanford University and other institutions have established fellowships and programs to support female mathematicians. The International Mathematical Union, IMU, introduced an award named in her honor, dedicated to outstanding young female mathematicians. Mariam once described mathematics as like being lost in a jungle and trying to use all the knowledge you can to find new paths. She may be gone, but the paths she carved will lead others forward for years, perhaps even centuries to come. Her legacy will live on forever.